now let's move on to another joint. We have we already did joint A. So what can we do now? Again, we look for a joint with two unknown forces and one external force to help us with a known magnitude, of course. Uh, if I try to do the B, how many unknown forces do I have? I have this unknown force, this member, and this one, and that one. Oh, that's a total of three, so I cannot do this one. Okay, what about the joint C? The unknowns are one, two, three? No, this one I already solved for, it's AC. So this one is known. So I have two unknowns and one known and one external force. That's a perfect joint. Let's do joint C. Joint C, all the forces are along the X, either the X or the Y direction. So there is no need to resolve any of the forces. So simply I do the sigma FX and sigma FY. And if I do the sigma FX, for example, I can solve for CE which, which uh, turns out to be 5.36 kilonewton, it's in tension. And if I do the Y, I'll solve for CB right here. So by choosing the joint C, I solve for CB and CE. Okay, let's move on to another joint. Joint B. Joint B now I know the force in this member, which is AB or BA, from joint A, and the force in CB or BC, which is the sixth, I solved for that in the previous joints, right here. So I end up having two unknowns, which is BD and BE. Again, I cannot use the equilibrium equations without having the forces along the X and the Y. So I resolve BE to its components, which, which turns out to be 3 over 5 BE, right here, and 4 over 5 BE. And again, I need to resolve the 9.38, which is the force in member A, B, which is, this is, let's say this is joint A, and this joint is C. So this member, I resolve this force into components because it's not along the X and Y direction. Okay, and now we have to resolve 9.38, it's right here. 4 over 5 times 9.38 and 3 over 5 times 9.38. And now I can do the equilibrium equations, sigma fx and sigma fy. And if I do sigma fx, I will do this one, which is BD plus 3 over 5 BE minus 3 over 5 times 9.38. That said that equals to 0, that's equation number 1. And if I do the sigma of y, it's going to be minus 6 minus 4 over 5 times 9.38 minus again 4 over 5 times BE I can solve for BE and it turns out to be 1.8759 kilonewtons and if I substitute the BE back into equation 1 I'll end up getting BD which is minus 6.75 kilonewton and again the minus sign means the assumption I made was wrong, or you can think of it this way, the force I assumed was in tension, the negative sign means no, it's in compression. So all I have to do is just go along and do all the other joints the same way. To summarize my uh, solution, it's the best way to tabulate all the answers in this table having the header of the table as member, force magnitude, and force type. And the force type is, of course, it's tension. T is, stands for tension, and C stands for compression. Any, any member, any zero member, of course, will have no tension or compression, like B, D, E, and F, G. 
and simply I just tabulate all the joints as shown in this table.